Let's do the electron configuration for strontium. So, I know some of you have looked up there, I know, but it's all right. So strontium is SR, okay? So look for it on the periodic table. So it's 38, right? So you're looking for 38 <coughs> electrons, okay? So let's um, write the electron configuration, okay? So how do we do it? We look at the periodic table. Let's write it together. What is it? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. So that's the where it gets weird, right? So 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 5s2. Okay, that makes sense, right? So. You could also, if you were like, okay, I don't know, count these up, right? And then you could figure out, if it didn't tell you what is this atom, right? You could count them up and figure out what atom that is. Um, let's do the condensed electron configuration. Condensed, abbreviated, noble gas electron configuration. You'll hear all of those uh, terms. They're um, interchangeable, okay? So how do we do the noble gas configuration of any element? Noble gas, and then add the what? The valence. What are the valence electrons? Yeah, not the remainder electrons are called the valence. Okay. So what's the noble gas before strontium? Krypton. So okay, R. And where are the um, uh, valence electrons? So all these are the inner electrons, right? Until where? That, right? So those are all the inner electrons. And these ones here are the valence. Okay. So what do we do? We write the valence levels, right? Is everybody cool with that? Okay, so let's predict the ion that strontium would make. What do you think it would make? SR2 plus, right? Why would you think that? Because you got two valence electrons here. Okay, so again, this is a common ion that they made. So let's draw the condensed electron configuration for the common ion of strontium. What would it be? K ion. Okay. So now let's draw what's called the orbital diagram for the valence electrons of strontium, okay? So the orbital diagram is where you write, so for the valence, of course, we've got krypton before that, so all this is the valence. So we got, if we look up where strontium is, it's the 5s, 4d, 5p, okay? So 5s, 4d, 5p. So that's the valence shell, right? Okay, but strontium doesn't fill all that up, right? So strontium only has the two electrons, so they're just going to go into the 5s. So one, and why don't they go up here? Because that's higher in energy than get just bunking with the guy next door. Okay, but remember, um, they turn over, okay? So plus and minus one half. So that's the electron, or the electron partial orbital diagram for the inner, or for the valence electrons. 